Justin, absolute pleasure to talk to you, man. Likewise. It is, it is my pleasure, man. Congratulations on Blue Bayou, man. I know you poured everything into this. It's very clear and it comes through. I talked to Alicia earlier and she was telling me, like, she kind of gave me a taste of the what you had to go through to make this because you're writer, director, actor, but also, like, it sounds like the, the task of just getting this movie made uh, is something that you must have really poured yourself into. I'd love to hear about the process of just getting Blue Bayou off the ground and what that experience was like for you. Um, you know... <clears throat> It was, uh, you know, four or five year process. You know, I, I after my film Gook, you know, I, I, I realized I, w- I really wanted to tell this story and bring shine a light on this issue of adoptees being deported. Um, so I brought it to Macro. They commissioned the script. And then, you know, but it's just such a long process because, you know, the script was ready for a while and I was waiting around. So, like, I, I, I made another film in between. Um, Miss Purple and and I just was constantly pushing, you know, and it's just that's what it requires, you know, for any film to get made. Um, but specifically like a film like this is incredibly hard to get made, um, you know, and it takes people like Alicia, you know, uh, taking on a role like this and, and you know, taking, a, you know, pay cut and and making a small film, you know, so that we can you know, make a beautiful story. You know, she is such a team player and she's immensely talented. So like you need uh, support of, 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 of juggernauts and uh, giants in order to get the, these kind of films made. Yeah, man. Well, I'm glad you got it. I'm glad you got to do this. Uh, it's a very, it, the message is awesome. The, the film has so much emotion and weight to it, but I'm sure you also had a bit of fun on this one. And I noticed you, you there were some shots you like doing, like, uh, like the motorcycle shots where you're following it in the car and some of the stuff where the when car moves. I love to hear about some of the fun stuff you got to do as a director that you might've not gotten the chance to do on some of your other films that you uh, got to kind of let loose with here. Yeah. I mean, I had a tiny bit more money. <laughs> um, I, I, I love riding motorcycles. So like, that was cool. Uh, you know, and I got to do it, you know, most of the stuff myself, except for like, you know, I didn't wheelie or, uh, you know, like any of that really dangerous stuff, but I get to, I got to do most of my own riding. That was so much fun, you know, to do that, to do that kind of work. And then, um, you know, like driving a, a motorcycle into a bayou, you know, like a little mini action sequence where they're robbing the, you know, the motorcycle store, all that stuff is, is just very exciting. And I, I, I felt like it was important that this film also wasn't just, just dramatic and, and down. I felt like it was important that these, these sort of lifts happen so that, you know, I could get this film out to just more than just like, you know, I don't want to just preach the choir. I, you know, I want to, I want a Trojan horse, horse this film. And, and I, I think that um, those kind of scenes are enjoyable for me as well just just i just want to like have fun as well hell yeah man and la- my last thing for you are you, who's your favorite superhero you see my room i would just want to i want to get that answer from you man um no man dude. It's, 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 <laughs> it's hard to tell it's hard to tell i feel like if i didn't say shang chi the asian community would probably destroy kill me but um you know um I don't know. I think uh, Tom, you know, uh, what's what's the other? Is it Tom Holland, the Spider Man? Spider Man, yeah. yeah. His, his version, his version is quite endearing because he's just a teenager, just trying to figure things out, and and then also having this response. I, I think that is quite uh, beautiful to watch instead of someone who ha- who's just a full grown adult, like because you kind of expect for adults to have their shit together. Um, a kid, there's just trying to figure out. And on top of that, if you have to, to deal with like being a superhero, I think is, is uh, incredibly, you know, fun thing to watch <laughs> and then balance. <laughs> I love it, dude. Well, listen, it's an absolute pleasure to speak with you. I'm looking forward to everybody seeing Blue Bayou and congrats, man. I'm, I'm happy to support you guys. Thank you.